Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the first day back in quite some time to do a spooky story. I have missed it. I know I do a lot of unboxings but like scary stuff, I keep clapping, but scary stuff is like my jam. I just love coming on here telling scary stories and like, I don't know, I just ghost stories, ghost locations, which I totally want to go to. That's a whole nother video that I'll talk about, um, are something I'm really passionate about. So I am actually going to start doing something. I think it's going to be on Fridays and I think I'm going to call it Freaky Fridays. Um, so every Friday I'm going to try and put out, try, I'm going to try and put out, um, a video of the spooky nature on Fridays. Um, so subscribe, keep an eye out for that. But, um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I have a couple, another series also that I'm doing Haunted Hometown that I haven't touched on in quite some time. So maybe leave your hometown down below that you want me to look up and, um, see if I can find some scary stories there. Or email me, send me your scary story because I'd love to see it. And if you want to be featured in one of my Haunted Hometown videos, let me know. But enough babbling. Today is part two of It Whispers. Now, I am linking the author down below. Go give them some love because I did not write this. This guy wrote it. Um, I forget his name. Um, it's okay. His name is Kylo AG or Kilo AG. Um, go check him out again. I'm going to put the link down below. Give him some love because he is the mastermind behind this. And now, this is my first time reading this, so if I stumble over words, I'm sorry but um, we're about two minutes in and I haven't started reading the story yet, so I'm gonna get started, okay. The day following my last entry was incredibly difficult. Some people can run on only an hour of sleep, but I certainly can't. I think I drank upwards of a gallon of coffee throughout the day. I don't know how much about nutrition, but there's no way that's healthy. I found it incredibly hard to focus throughout the day. The combination of sleep deprivation and the previous night's occurrence rattled my mind. I couldn't hold a normal conversation without getting lost in thought or in the days. The day more or less <laughs> less felt like I was in a fugue state. I had to leave work early as I wasn't able to properly do my job with all of my mental struggles. I, I might have to call out tomorrow if I can't get some more sleep tonight. I just hope that I can. As soon as I got home, I laid on the couch and fell asleep. It was 5 p.m. at the time. I continued to have the same dream. Although nightmare is more, it's a more accurate word about the whispers in the corner of my room. Those pale yellow eyes accompanied them this time. The dream as a whole was incredibly vivid. I could remember nearly every detail of it, although that may be because it wasn't all that different than my real life experience. Something in my dream stayed from, strayed from reality. The whispers became very pointed, as if they were actually trying to have a conversation with me. Before, they had seemed as if they were directed at me, but not talking to me. As if the whispers were talking to themselves about me, in a sense. I also noticed that they began to actually sound coherent. There began to be some discernible words, and I could tell the whispers were actually speaking a language. I was only able to pick out a couple words here and there, but I noticed that it was repeating the same thing over and over. Deus and Sam were the only two words I can understand, which were both Latin for God and I am. Respectively, who knew philosophy classes would actually pay off? There was more being said than just Deus and Sum, so I'm not sure what the entire message was. As soon as I had the realization in my nightmare, I woke up again. I, I woke up at the witching hour. This was beginning to seem like a pattern. With the same general nightmare and repeatedly waking up at midnight, I determined that deciphering this pattern and making sense of the message was likely going to be crucial to solving my problem with the whispers. I turned my lamp on and glanced over the corner of my room where the whispers usually resided. And and there they, they were silent, but the eyes were present. They stared, and again, I stared too. The silence confused me. For some reason, I expected this to play out exactly like my dream. Alas, I'm no psychic, but I wasn't subconsciously predicting the future in my dreams. The eyes simply were, and they said enough by just being there. 
Strangely enough, I found my fear diminishing. It still made me uneasy, but the eyes lacked the sinister feeling of the night prior. But my fear wasn't entirely washed, and I still didn't trust the situation. Thus, I continued to stare. Hours passed before any sort of change happened. It was nearly five in the morning when I noticed that the darkness had grown in the corner. It wasn't a substantial growth, but the shadowy corner had definitely increased in size while I was staring at those eyes. It now was large enough that it nearly reached the ceiling. The whispers returned moments later. But they weren't like in the dream. They were more similar to before, where I couldn't understand anything and they were much too quiet to accurately discern. Much like last time, as soon as light began to seep into my room, the whispers and the eyes vanished. I subsequently found solace in my brief period of sleep before having to get up without enough sleep for a second consecutive day. I woke up suffering from some extreme sleep inertia and didn't immediately notice the change in my room. I began getting dressed and saw it. There was something on, the, on my wall in the corner where it whispers. I walked over and examined the scene. Malice. It appeared to be crudely written, or rather burned, into the wall. It seemed to be another term to add to the list. It looked like it was also Latin, but I wasn't sure. I guess that the word didn't have a positive connotation if it was indeed Latin. Based off the English word with a similar root, just the thought of it being a negative word made the situation feel much more urgent. Could the whispers be threatening me? I needed to figure out exactly what it meant and do it as quickly as I could. I ended up calling out of work. As soon as I finished up my last class of the day, I immediately made my way to the library on campus. I found any and all books I could on Latin and fr frantically searched for the word malice in an effort to gain some clarity on the situation. I wasn't able to quickly discover a solid translation, but eventually I was able to find one. Malice was defined as any of the following, bad, evil, wicked, injurious, destructive, mischievous, hurtful, ill-looking, ugly, or deformed. That particularly wasn't reassuring. So my initial hunch was right. This wasn't a friendly, I love you, written on my wall. I decided to go home that evening and see what else I could figure out. The whispers had frightened me but given me no other reason to leave yet. I wanted to see if I could begin solving this before I quit on the situation. When I got home, the word was no longer on my wall. I understand. I sound crazy. I, well, I definitely could be. That's a possible explanation here, but I swear I had seen it. And then it was just gone. It was like it had never been there. I can't explain it. I did my best to shake off the feeling that I was losing my mind. I had always been level-headed and collected, but this was really starting to get to me. I, I tried to go about my night like everything was normal, following my usual routine, dinner, schoolwork, shower, and downtime. I was indescribably exhausted by the past few days, but I couldn't fall asleep. I was anxious, waiting in anticipation for the first sign of whatever it was in the corner of my room. I expected it to show up at midnight again, so I bided my time. If it didn't show up by then, I'd try to get some sleep. I waited patiently, counting down the minutes. Finally, the clock hit midnight. I looked over at the corner. That shadow was present and larger than ever. The eyes opened right on cue. The whispers started up and hit a slow, menacing crescendo. The shadow was gradually growing. The eyes grew steadier, brighter, and brighter. I tried to move, but I couldn't. I watched helplessly as the darkness inched closer and closer. The whispers became louder and louder and louder. The brightness of the eyes continued to increase in intensity. The pure black mantle of the shadow slowly enveloped me, accompanied by a bitter, wintry cold. Those deafening whispers screamed in my ears at an unbearable decibel. They were soon all I could hear. It whispered a phrase over 
and over. The same I had heard the past night. Its gaze was blinding now. I shielded my eyes and closed them before I lost my sight. After a few seconds of suffering, the whispers ceased. It was no longer freezing. I slowly opened my eyes. The shadow had retreated back into the original, more diminutive space in the corner. The eyes had returned to normal and the whispers were once again nearly silent. I checked my phone and it was a quarter to four in the morning. I was baffled. That, was, that made absolutely no sense. There was no way that over three hours had passed. It felt like mere minutes. Could it have been a dream? It felt too real. Everything, sensation seemed so tangible, but that was the only plausible explanation. So that's the verdict I settled on. I wasn't able to fall asleep following that, out of fear and confusion. I went through another awful day. This lack of sleep is really getting to me. Luckily, I was able to sneak in a couple hours prior to work, but it re it's really not enough. Again, I'll update as soon as I can. And as last time, wish me luck. All right, guys. That was really good. I'm so excited. So part three is already out. So I'm going to film that one right after this. Um, so subscribe because next week part three is coming out. So again, check out this author. I will link him. He'll be the first link down below. Um, give him some love. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the story. Um, and again, just talk to me. I love to talk to you guys. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content because it's something I am passionate about. So well, yeah, thanks for sticking around. Have a good one. Bye.